How's it going? 30th of January 2013, thought I'd do a bit of an aquaponic update. Start off up here at the fish. Fish aren't very happy with me at the moment because we still have high nitrate levels. So just laying off the feed for a couple of days and we'll see if that helps. Uh, we had a bit of a rain event <laughs> in case you've missed it. And we actually had the sump overflow three times. We've taken over about 500 litres or about just under a third of the water from the whole total system. And yeah, we still have skyrocketing nitrate levels. pH is 6.2, the nitrites are on trace and the ammonia is about 0.25 to 5. So I have a feeling that might have something to do with the amount of fresh water washing through the system. So. So the sump has had 150 litres removed each time it overflowed. So I've left it down low for the time being. The gold is in there are rather happy. Um, while I'm down here, I might as well show you this new little feature I've added to... I'll just move this out. new little feature I've added to this return from the grow bed. We have a bell siphon in there and a very long return pipe. And I found the problem... I've been having problems with this particular siphon for ages now. And I think after doing a bit of reading, and I'm sorry, I can't find the thread again on Backyard Aquaponics, but someone recommended putting a standpipe halfway along your long return. And what that allows is air to access the pipe from there to go back along and break the siphon. It just helps break the siphon. And since I put this standpipe in, I've been laughing. It's, it's worked amazingly well. So just have another one starting up so it's going to get loud. That one there, that one's always worked the dream. That's from this bed right in front of me here. Comes on and comes off straight away. So, can't complain about that one whatsoever. So when this one fills up, I'll come back to it and just show you how it works. So here we go, this one here is just about to start, I think. A little bit of water trickling over. Doesn't start as fast as the one in the center here, but it does start fairly quickly. And as you can see, the one on the other side isn't breaking very well as either, so. It's finally broken after quite some time, and this one's just starting. And flowing really well, just to show you in here. No water's coming up this pipe, it's going straight down to the flow. So that was one thing I was concerned about, the rush of water might find it easier to come out of there, because it is actually below the water level of the bed, but it's going fine. So we'll just let this get near the bottom. Rightio, the bell's just started to gurgle. So just to show you down in here, those bubbles are air coming through this pipe and back up to the bell. And I think that's about it. There we go, a small little burp. This cap's just to stop anything falling down there and creating a problem, so... I think that is an excellent fix for anyone who has real long pipes that um, is having problems initiating and then stopping a siphon. Also to another thing that may have contributed to this, this bed was higher and over time it's slowly sunk and this pipe is actually dead level now. So I think that's also contributed to the problem just slightly. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a great fix for people with slow moving pipes, I suppose. So the beds themselves are going all right. I've planted a whole heap of seeds out. I've planted some purple auric in here. It's a, a spinachy sort of plant. These Egyptian spinach are going really well. They'll be harvested soon. This cucumber's doing fantastic as well. That's a gimpy gold. I'm going to try and send one shoot along the back up here, or oh, well, one branch, you know what I mean, vining, and another one up over the top. I'm not too sure whether I'll leave this shade cloth up here or not for it. We might take it down, we'll see how we go. Over the back there, we have some more parsley germinating, and I also planted some more, I think, perpetual spinach up in there. You'll see in future clips, I forget just for now. Have a little bit of perpetual spinach just down in here. These kangkongs from seedling are all going really well, other than bits that are broken off in the storm. This one over here has got shoots coming up from where it was placed. That was uh, one of the cutting ones. So all those long bits will hopefully come off for a meal soon. 
beetroot's been thinned out. We've taken off a lot of branches from the basils in here just so we can let some light through for those carrots and I planted some other seeds just randomly in here. Also have the golden purslane in there. So we're just trying to encourage as much growth as we can and I figured that by um, trimming back the trees would probably encourage more growth which would take up more nitrates. These beetroot are just being left in here at the moment just to use up nitrates. They're not as sweet and as juicy as they once were but chopped up in the salad they're still food, still fibre, still good for you. In here I planted some white beetroot, nothing has sprouted as of yet and I have a feeling that maybe the rain has sort of forced some of the seeds further down. We'll just wait and see. So there was some beetroot in there, some white beetroot, some Detroit beetroot up here, some auric over there and some other seeds just randomly placed through here. This cankong is enjoying having this basil cut back, so happy about that. This one here is about to go. Over here, thanks to Charlie, thanks Charlie on Backyard Aquaponics Forum, he suggested that we might be having a bit of a problem with our constant flow bed here. He suggested that what's probably happening is I had an outlet over there and the growth was a bit retarded around the outside. So he suggested that the water's probably tracking straight from there over to where the standpipe is here. So all the nutrient rich water is probably getting straight to waste. Some of it would be taken up by the plants of course, but the majority would just be going through there and leaving dead spots all around the outside. So I hopped on and had a bit of a look and this seems to be the most common arrangement. I've got some 20 mil or three quarter inch pipe three one-eighth holes in this end and the other end four one-eighth holes down the two side rails these are just pushed together and I've used some other fittings I had to buy that t-piece and an elbow for this one I had the pipe and the rest and all these fittings come from the old barrel ponics and yeah so this pipe is just straight on here and um, under a fair amount of pressure is forcing water through getting a fairly good flow rate so I think it will increase when I get a bigger pump. I'm actually going to go up from the 2500 litre an hour pump. I think the next one's about 3,500 litres, maybe a little bit larger. So I will be taking a step up in the pump size and we'll get a larger flow rate through here, so that'll be good. This Kangkong in here has gone crazy, really happy with that. All these longer branches that came from the original cutting will be cut off this week as we're getting heaps of new growth coming through. Uh, the water chestnuts are going really well, I'm happy with them. We've got little side corms coming up everywhere with these guys. There's some over there behind that leaf. I think I showed that last time, so mighty pleased with that. Yeah, so other than the high nitrate levels, I'm happy with the way things are going. I think I might actually have to go out and get some more seedlings and plant them in. If I had some more seedlings in the yard, I'd plant them in, but I don't, unfortunately. And see if I can suck up some of this nitrate. Just some um, quick growing crops like lettuce or something like that. Something that's going to use it up quickly and then I'll be a lot happier and so will the fish hopefully because I'll be able to get fed again. Um, just to show you, this siphon here, still running, has the same cutoff issues as the other one so I got my kit down here, I'm ready to make a, an incision, put another T-piece in and another riser here just to help it break the siphon a little bit easy, easier so they otherwise it just keeps draining on a dribble like this for anywhere up to about half an hour and that's not good for the um, plants. The idea is to have the water constantly flowing, rising, falling, rising, falling. So, especially in the heat like today, it's supposed to be up around 35. It'd be good to have, you know, water come through the plants all the time. I just noticed a little beetroot popped up here. So, well, hey, they're germinating. Have a quick gander over here. Nah, I can't see any over there. Anyway, so that's pretty much all it. Um, I'm really pleased with the two little fixes we've done with the little standpipe in the um, feed back into the sump tank and also with the feed into the constant flow bed. So thanks again for that, Charlie. Really appreciate that. It, it's helped out immensely. So hopefully next clip, I say this quite often, I think, hopefully next clip you'll see a lot more green. Uh, either that or the fish are going to start getting crook. So I do have that green tank over there is full of water just around the corner there. So I can actually take another five, good 500 litres out of the system because that's full from all the rain we had. We've had, what did I work out? We've had 360 mil, oh no, 320 mil over a three or four day period over the weekend with the flooding. So I have more than enough water to spare in that green barrel to put through the system and see if that'll bring the nitrate levels down. 
Uh, my one problem is if um, the influx of so much fresh water may affect the um, bacteria cycle, the nitrogen cycle. So we'll just see what happens there. So any suggestions, comments, questions, drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Other than that, have a great one. Take it easy. Catch ya.